girl's cleaning day looks unusual. Caroline loves to leave her money everywhere. Her perfect beauty distracts her all the time. Vacuum cleaner clogged with her wealth. She has too much money, but not enough to share them with the poor. Her roommate Sky and Emma are always trying to get a bit of cash. Helen helps Caroline deal with the poor roommates. They hunt for money like hyenas. Today they are very lucky. The undeclared income of the rich girls flew out of the vacuum cleaner. They're always pranking the poor girls. No. But all of them still have to live in one room somehow. No. Emma decided to look around and find something to decorate the room. And that's how she found the box mm -hmm. with the discarded bed. And her friend already took the details of the future what place to sleep. Uh, Emma what? is reading the instructions carefully. Sky doesn't need it. Her house mm -hmm. on the Mississippi River got washed away again and again. Emma can't stop what? reading. Hey. Typical nerd. Wait. She just thinks it's yeah. better to measure seven times <laughs> and cut once. Wonder why she doesn't use this formula with her bangs. It turned out that Sky did everything by herself. Emma loves having the last word. What? Rich girls no. use magic to build. The magic of wealth. The gold card will help lighten everything up here. Helen didn't really get her friend's plan. She doesn't need to understand. She needs to be surprised and say how cool Caroline is. Now Helen is satisfied and wants to do her part. Oh, wow. They don't need to use the card all the time. Working with your hands for a while is interesting, too. She made a gold canopy for the bed. Now she can throw the rest of the fabric into the trash. That's how they call the poor part of their room. Bye. Something always falls on Emma's head. She's like a Newton with his apple. Because of the bumps, she can't make another hairstyle. Sky stopped her just in time. She loves trash. What if there's a half eaten sandwich? Digging through trash is like looking for treasure. She made a poor version of the canopy from sticks and patches. Trash, improvisation, and enthusiasm made a poor bed cozy. Emma wants her last word, as always. But her trash ceiling looks pretty nice. The rich girls have fun in their own way. They order gold puzzles. Poor Sky is spying on them. Playing spy is always fun. And they can mess what? with their enemies a little. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Hold on to your puzzles. It's not easy to resist such pressure. How do you like Hurricane Emma? They don't usually name people like this. Caroline is holding on to the bed like she's the captain of the football team. The poor girls like to mess around. She will have to make her hair again. But look at the puzzles. They stuck to the wall so nicely. One problem less. The poor girls wanted to ruin everything, but only made it better. The rich girls care about their beauty a lot. A broken nail or a no. regular pimple is a real disaster for them. Stop. <laughs> they need beauty emergency. Emma is spying on them through her strong lenses. Mm -hmm. She wants mm -hmm. to be beautiful like her roommates. Uh -huh. Helen never noticed Caroline had three arms before. What? Poor cutie's prank worked. The nail polish is One, very two, expensive, three, huh? and she doesn't want to waste it. Write in the okay. comments which of the hands doesn't belong to Caroline. Ooh. Thanks. Thank a rich part of the room got a real plant. They will have flowers soon, and soon will fill the room with a great smell. Hmm. But the poor girls have their own plans for this plant. Stealing is bad, but Sky never heard of it. She needs beautiful leaves to decorate the bed. At the same time, poor Helen is crying over her loss. Caroline has no doubt the poor girls did it. The investigation will figure it out. She feels that a flower pot is out there. Hmm. Caroline watched too many detective shows. Hmm. She will definitely find it. It's not on the balcony. Hmm. Not even under her favorite pillow. 
she couldn't find it hot on the trail. And the poor girls have the audacity to take the entrance fee to their half. IKEA has a new product. It's the mirror of your soul. The rich girls are crazy about it. It's exactly what they need for the room. The reflection scared Helen for some reason. It shows she's poor. She needs to recover from this. It would be fine, but no. Caroline saw her reflection. Seems like this mirror doesn't fit in the room's interior. Sky is working hard to decorate the room, while her roommate is watching TikToks and relaxing. Sky asked her to help with her butterfly organizer, but Emma always forgets about things Sky asks for. That's why she decided to leave a reminder right on her friend's forehead. Bad idea. She doesn't often look in the mirror. Skye would have to wait for her answer forever. This attitude makes Skye mad. How many reminders does Emma need to start helping? Seems to be enough. Emma started working. To make a butterfly, she needs to make a caterpillar first. The organizer is ready. The rich girls ordered something unusual on the magic stuff website. This is YouTube like button. Just like and get a gift. These girls deserve treats. But for the rich girls, it's never enough. The poor girls can eat these sweets for the rest of their lives. And for the rich girls, it's only for one evening. Sky hasn't eaten in two days. Her mouth is watering so much it'll flood the neighbors below. She tries to reach the magic button. Help Sky get something to eat. Just like this video, please. Online shopping is very easy. No need to go to the mall. You can buy everything sitting at home. Caroline is going to find something trendy for her friend. She knows all the fashion trends. Wow. Hollywood stars ask her opinion when choosing looks for the Oscar. What? It's easy to find something to point out Helen's strong points. Look, she's gorgeous. But what to do with the other stuff? The rich girls have a cool backlit wardrobe for this. Oops, it's already broken. Hmm? Sky is a real neat freak, and her roommate is clearly not. Emma thinks the trash disappears by itself. She doesn't notice how Sky crawls around the room from morning to evening, cleaning, and takes it for granted. Sky can see something more than just trash and give it a second life. Painted tissue tubes can turn into a comfortable chair, where a careless roommate can relax. Her audacity knows no limits. The website has the last wow. pair of the best shoes in the world. They're <gasps> Helen's dream. It's not her size, but she's ready to cut off her thumb just so Caroline doesn't get them. So who will get the dream shoes? Caroline is going to cheat. She knows how much Helen loves burgers. And she has her shoes. Conscience won, and she's ready to share with her friend. One shoe for each girl. They don't fit. Caroline has a crazy idea. Why not give it a try? Japanese giant Yoshishiro Aikiyama will stretch them in one move. Looks like the guy went over the top, but girls like it even more. The whole girl can fit into the shoe, but only one of them. Who will it be, Helen or Caroline? And the race begins. The poor girls have fun with Twister. Emma's back hurts, so Sky has to play for two. She can't handle it. She only has two legs and two arms. The girls got tired quickly. It gets dark so fast in autumn. Emma loves when it's bright and funny. She has an idea. What if they make a chandelier out of circles? It lights up the entire poor half of the room. The rich part has its own problems. The girls can't stand watching YouTube on the phone together. The picture's too small. Queens deserve a wall size screen, as big as their egos. Troom Trick Premium really exists. Helen was sure it's all lies. No one should know about it. They will have to close the doors very tight. Only the world elite have access to this service. Did you hear about the golden billion? Okay, whatever. The main thing is that Caroline and Helen will now get a portion of exclusive content. They're so excited. Caroline needs to touch up her makeup. 
She has a special cosmetic table with built-in makeup oh, artists. Wow. That's the whole secret to her beauty. Yeah. Helen's impressed and wants to try Whoa. it too. But the system is said to Caroline's face. For safety reasons, that's what it does to other faces. Oh, Helen shouldn't have touched modern yeah. technology. Seems like she won't go to the party today. Guess whose job it is? There's so much homework in college that forever won't be enough to do it. Sky even fell asleep while reading her books. So she risks being expelled. Emma decided to help her friend. No, she's not gonna do her homework, but she can make a coffee machine from cardboard. A little coffee obviously will be great to wake up. Coffee beans smell so good. Looks like her battery is charged. Suddenly, she decided to clean the room. She better not drink too much of this refreshing drink. The energy will run out soon, and even a kiss won't wake the Sleeping Beauty up. Helen decided the level of their beds reached hmm. two stars. But Caroline thinks they deserve better. Hmm. Star stickers are not enough for her. She wants real stars, which means she will get them no matter what it costs. She has the most powerful vacuum cleaner on Earth. She just needs to move them from a boring sky to their bed. No problem. Now this bed construction is really finished. <laughs> the poor girl's part is ready too. And it looks pretty good, even though they had no budget. But which part is cooler, poor or rich? The rich girls will never settle for an even draw. Oh, it's time for Caroline to go to the airport for check-in. She has a flight to a new crazy adventure today. Hope she didn't forget anything. What's that? A neon sign. She can use that to send an SOS if she had to. Or she could use it to plug the hole and let Molly take a break. See, Caroline has a heart after all. Looks like the girls might become friends and turn coach into first class. Wow. There's a lot of work to do. The rich passengers filled the coach section up as if it were the cargo hold. Molly's trying to think of where to start. What can she do that won't get her caught? This scarf got her attention. Oops. The collision hurt her head and mixed up all the luggage tags. Now she can only see in black and white, and she doesn't know what's what. Hey, guys, will you help Molly out? Comment below and tell her which label goes on which bag. Oh, they do serve drinks in coach, too. The girls can use these cups and napkins. Molly is great at origami. She can't wait to make something cute. <laughs> Her plane didn't fly very far. Here's hoping this one does. These planes are for decoration, so they don't need to fly. Caroline cut out some clouds. The windows are too dirty to see the real ones. Molly did wash a few of them while birds attacked her. The flight attendants don't treat the passengers and coach very well. If they break the rules, they'll get yelled at or even hit. Molly didn't buckle up because the seatbelt's uncomfortable. Caroline, help her out. She can finally breathe. Caroline likes this belt. She can use it and the tray to make a swing. And she can fly while she flies. The flight attendant is mad that she's not buckled up. Molly just likes being able to breathe. And she likes to play on the swings, too. Don't distract the pilots while they're working. But the beautiful flight attendants are distracting. Dylan wants to impress her with his skills. Flying under a bridge upside down is a little too much. The wing touched the water. Dylan drew a heart in the sky for the flight attendant. It's so romantic. Wow, so impressive. The flight attendant can barely contain herself. Caroline painted a picture. Molly doesn't know anything about art, but she thinks the painting is hideous. We better hide this so no one can see it. But taking it down is gonna be tricky. That's what the security system is for. Hands off the art. Molly never gives up. She never yes. says never. What if we turn these windows into living paintings drawn by nature? Now Coach is like an art gallery. Yes. Caroline likes it, okay. and she wants to make it even better. 
Maybe we can change the route? She'll have to bribe the pilot. Caroline doesn't care about money. To Dylan, money is everything. What an interesting route. Want to see the sights? Molly is loving this. She's only seen all that on TV before. This isn't anything like a school field trip. She'll remember this for the rest of her life. But Caroline has seen this all before. The Eiffel Tower doesn't impress her. Molly wants to take a peek into business class. The passengers get their own tablets here. That's cool. Is she planning to steal one? She looks good with a mustache. Oh, your tablet isn't picking up the signal. We'll have to repair it. They already have the best of everything. They don't need tablets, too. An iPad will be just the thing to make Coach more comfortable. Caroline isn't impressed with Molly's new look because the stash is on her finger now. And she didn't bring a razor. She brought tweezers on board easily, though. Let's watch some YouTube videos. Finally, they're giving us lunch. The girls are starving. Molly would pay her last dollar for food. She's inherited this from her grandfather. She's too hungry to think straight. That's only enough for a tray and a plate. Maybe next time she'll be able to afford water. Caroline's not going to eat this. If she asks the pilot nicely, maybe he'll stop by her favorite restaurant. Dylan loves breaking the rules. Hopefully there's no line. Here's your lunch. Dylan got to go really fast. And that's reward in and of itself. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. The onboard menu isn't that impressive. But Molly's never seen some of those words before. They don't sell this at Taco Bell. Molly doesn't have any money, but she does have a plan. She's always got a plan. Uh-oh, she's getting motion sick. Molly doesn't even know how to spell turbulence. But at least she got free candy. Caroline feels sick too. The flight attendant has to give her candy. The girls will be sick until they're full. At least they have plenty of candy now. Here's hoping they don't get a tummy ache. They should make a storage shelf for the candy. Caroline has some ideas. Good thing Molly has a lot of sticky notes they can use to decorate the shelf. <gasps> Caroline likes it. Let's make it foldable. Great, but where's the candy? Caroline is having an emergency. Shh, don't say that so loud. A huge pimple on her forehead. Why are you yelling? The airplane is shaking. Caroline doesn't care. She'd pay anything to be rid of this thing. Skincare isn't part of your economy ticket. Molly thought she could accomplish something too. All she did was freak Caroline out. She'll have to spend a hundred bucks to shut her up. Oh, sweetie, don't cry. Molly has been keeping a diary for years. It's got all her deepest secrets in it. She can't rest until she finds out what's in the diary. Oh, Molly wants a closet. That's weird. Why not dream a little bigger? Just use money. Bada bing, bada boom, wish fulfilled. This is the best day of Molly's life. The metal detector isn't letting her through. She always keeps a spoon with her to eat or dig an escape tunnel. She likes her new look. <laughs> That's even better. Now Caroline isn't ashamed to be seen with her. Wait, yeah, she is. Put that back on. Uh-oh, the closet is broken. Or is it better that way? Molly can create a toy from just about anything. Caroline wants to keep remodeling Coach. It's so bare, and Molly's just playing. Caroline thinks money is the best remedy for everything. And she's right. She used money to get a soft stool. That's money magic. Let's see what Molly can do. She's no magician, 
It's like the money can tell she's broke. Some people just aren't cut out to be rich. But Molly is cutting her own path. She's looking for another oh. strategy. Yes. Who needs this suitcase? Just wear all your clothes instead. Molly has a great idea for how to embarrass Caroline. She's so clumsy. The suitcase will make a great chair. It even has a soft back. Caroline is like a human closet now. Her ears are like hangers. Finally, Molly can get some sleep while Caroline deals with all these dirty old clothes. There's no AC in coach. They're sweating rivers over London. Molly has her eye on the flight attendant's fan. While she sleeps, we can steal the propeller, then make our own. It's too hot to sleep. The flight attendant is shocked by the missing propeller. Maybe the pilot took it and stuck it on the plane to make it go faster? Molly's no pilot, she's an engineer. She made the propeller way cooler. Caroline is impressed by her creativity. Finally, they'll have a fan that'll keep them nice and refreshed. What do we do with the old propeller? Okay. The flight attendant is going to fight the pilot. This is Molly's chance to put things back to normal and erase the evidence. You normally shouldn't distract a pilot, but this is an emergency. Dylan doesn't like being accused of things he didn't do. Sure, he could have done that, but he didn't. You must be crazy, but I'll help you anyway. Dylan is pretty sure that she's just flirting with him. But that couldn't be further from the truth. He's not even her type. The flight attendant came to the coach section to do a dance? The girls are confused. How can you dance without music? Let's dance together. Now this is a fun flight. The pilots are joining in. They think it's a challenge. But that's not what's going on. And now the plane is falling. Pilots should fly, not dance. Dylan, get back to work. What? Oh, the food cart. It's got so many snacks on it. The girls are feeling peckish. But unfortunately, this is all for business class. Coach can't even look at the food. But maybe we can game the unfair system. While Caroline was yelling at the flight attendant, the cart made it to business class, missing a few things. Someone's been biting the cookies and croissants. Maybe mice? Mice on a plane? Oh, there's a lost passenger on the cart. Molly's a good friend, so she brought Caroline a piece. These are France's best croissants. You can't just go for a walk in a plane, but there's still plenty to keep you busy. Whoa, a parachute. Molly needs fabric to make a hammock. Caroline likes it. Yes. There's something what? up with the plane. Are the pilots drawing in the sky again? Caroline starts panicking and she grabs a parachute. But what? there isn't one. Oh. The only thing that's left is the ring. Hey, nice bracelet. <laughs> Caroline is mad and she wants to get her friend back for this. How do you like that? Imagine falling 10 miles. Caroline just woke up, but she's not sure if this is a dream or she's really flying. Molly's always wanted to fly like a butterfly. Everything else is floating too. Is the plane in outer space? The pilots wanted to fly closer to the sun to get a nice tan. They're having a nice vacation on the job. Just enjoying that legendary cocktail, Hex on the Beach. Ah, oh, I love summer. That's so irresponsible. We're already delayed four hours. Go back to the normal route. The girls landed all oh of a sudden. God. Everything's okay, wow. just normal turbulence. Dylan is channeling his inner diva, and he wants to strut his stuff for the passengers. Mm. They like this beat. It's pretty good for a beginner. His first song went viral. He's so talented. Here comes the next big thing in pop music. The passengers are loving it. He even came up with a viral dance. 
The plane landed without the pilot's input. Wow, we can leave! Molly and Caroline worked hard on their room. It's almost a shame to leave it. Hold on, isn't that Emma Cake and Helen wow. Glover? The wealthiest wow. investors in the world? <gasps> yes! They seem impressed by what Molly and Caroline built. Oh my god. This is going to be the world's first DIY airplane. Let's just fly wherever we want. Caroline and her cousin Molly just saw a cool secret room on Instagram. And now they want to have their own. Caroline is rich, so she can afford all the best building materials. Okay. But lifting them won't be easy. She'll have to ask her cousin for help. Molly has never had much money. But she's kind and helpful. And her cousin always takes advantage of that. Molly does everything for her. Caroline overworks her and pays her in materials. Molly is struggling to do it on her own. And Caroline isn't planning on helping. She needs to make her own room look nice. Molly is disappointed in her. Interior decor can really set the mood. Caroline wants it to look rich. And Molly has to use Caroline's rejects. The result is just as good. Caroline is furious. Everyone needs shelves in their room. Caroline stores her expensive accessories and tiaras here. And she treats Molly's room as a trash can. That's frustrating. Molly's creativity helps her use Caroline's trash for something good. She can turn a normal box into something awesome using paint. It looks so nice. When you have lots of money, you can afford all kinds of lighting. How is Molly going to light her room? Well, not everything needs to be lit up, right? That's up to Molly. Soon, her room has cool lights that even Caroline can't afford. After Molly's little craft, now she'll have to shower in the dark. Molly goes down to the basement in search of treasures. There must be a lot of good stuff in here. What's this old suitcase for? What's she up to? We're about to see. There's another suitcase inside. This can't be for her new room. Unless she turns it into a chair? That's not very comfortable. But Molly's so creative that she can turn anything into something for her room. This is actually a pillow. Awesome. Caroline is jealous. So she orders a ton of squishy cushions for her room. It's rich. And poor Molly has to settle for her old junk. She looks like a sad little gray mouse. And Caroline is like the cat that's about to get the cream. Caroline can afford a cool desk with a laptop. This is her chill corner. Now she can watch Troom Troom Trick videos in her new room. Molly's so bored that she comes up with new ideas using whatever she can find. She made a desk out of a trash can. Since she can't afford a laptop, Caroline will decide to generously share. Molly keeps getting new ideas. She can make a telescope out of toilet paper and cardboard. Caroline doesn't need arts and crafts. She can just buy new stuff. She's teasing poor Molly. Maybe Molly doesn't have a rich imagination. Molly has to think of something Caroline won't be able to buy. If she explores her house, maybe she can find something cool. She can use ropes and clothespins. Caroline doesn't think it's going to work. Big mistake! Look at this amazing photo display! 
Caroline's not impressed. She bought a projector to show off her pics. Molly's idea aged like milk. Caroline has so much money that she needs a special place to store it. Yes. A safe with a complex code would be perfect. But she doesn't remember the code. Now Caroline's money is safe. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of our videos. What would you put in your secret room? Tell us in the comments. And we'll see you next time on Troom Troom Trick.